Hello and welcome everyone, I'm your host John Armas, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, and today, well, you can see the coin that I have here. It's been sent in by Martin the Silver Trader for me to give uh, my honest opinion, cast my eyes over, give you some information about. Uh, so if you like the coin, check out the links below where you can find the link to thesilvertrader.uk. Uh, you can find the link to preciousmetalforum.com and you can find the link to Ace Bullion .co.uk or .uk, uh, no, or .com, that's my bad. Right, anyway, here we go. So here it is, the brand new 2024 uh, Britannia. Uh, 10 ounce silver Britannia, as you can see by it in my hands. And uh, no, I'm not uh, small handed either. Um, and uh, it has King Charles on here with a 10 pound denomination, which is about, I don't know, 14 US dollars or uh, probably at this point a million Canadian dollars. I'm kidding you guys. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, so this is the brand new one. Uh, and what makes this actually rather special is obviously we did not have a Britannia that was not a proof version. So we didn't have a BU 10 ounce Britannia. And we're only talking about 10 ounce since 21. We, ha we didn't have 22. We didn't have 23. This is now the comeback. And of course, we all know the reason why. That was because of Queen Elizabeth passing away. So... Uh, there was uh, the memorial, um, and they call it a Britannia-ish. It's not. Um, and, of course, that had King Charles on and um, Queen Elizabeth, you know, um, one on each side. And then later, uh, there was, of course, the, um, oh, what was it called? Uh, the Coat of Arms. So I was looking at my paper, trying to look. Um, and again, that wasn't uh, the Britannia. Um, we, we subsequently had, you know, Tudor Beasts and so on and so forth. But, uh, and the Robin Hood series, which had Queen Elizabeth. But the Britannia itself fizzed out for a while. And that was in the 10 ounce form. And that was because the Royal Mint needed to redo, regather themselves. Now, I have a plethora of one ounce coins, which I featured at the time. And uh, yeah, there was just so many popping out because the Royal Mint weren't really too sure what was going on and was trying to appeal to everybody, um, you know, and get things done. So that's the story. We're now on 10 ounces. Here we go. Um, we have Lady Liberty here, as you can see does have that reeded edge um it comes in a kind of somewhat domed capsules rather nice uh as you can see there are 10 ounces three nines fine silver and down below we have uh nathan we also have uh the lock and uh trident as we flip it so you can get the trident there you flip it and you get the lock there so nice security features also these wavy backgrounds um along with the mill dots much easier to see that if i zoom out you'll see the waves as it comes and of course the britannia being the britannia as it is so still lady britannia um the design hasn't changed She's still holding on to uh her shield and trident and has what looks like an olive branch um, next to her shield. And it's, you know, it is a superb piece of, you know, a coin. It's a really nice, um, just design as it should be. This doesn't need to be changed. Um, of course, personally, I, I would be having King Charles face down. That's just the way that, uh, you know, I have my stuff. Um, unless it's, of course, something special, then I'll buy two of them and I'll have them side by side. So that way I can display both sides. Um, 
So that's that. Um, not quite sure what else to really say. I know the Silver Trader has these in. There's not many of them. And they are going pretty, you know, reasonably priced at, you know, as we speak. In fact, actually, these are probably the best um, right now um, silver that is priced up on his website. Uh, so that's what I can say. For all the people who are, you know, looking at, you know, the, the spot price and looking at uh, actual, you know, retail prices, this one will hit you the best. So that's what I could say for that. Uh, so what are your thoughts and opinions? Are you buying these? Personally, I love stacking the 10 ounces. I think that it's a joy. It's easy. You buy them, you stick them into wherever, you know, you may be. In my case, it's a box. Um, and they just sit there and yeah, you can go back and have a look at them later. I was actually going to bring them out and share with you and show you some of just other designs, but I was like, no, it's <laughs> we're going to focus here on the Britannia itself. So, yeah, I'd love to hear what your thoughts and opinions are and see what this thing is all about. So, with that being said, hmm, I'll just show you and share with you some of this. And then I'll let you go. Hmm. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. I still like those dots. Alrighty then. Bye for now.